Hello, I am XX Awesome Gamer, and um, I thought I'd do another video on my phone. This will be one of the last videos I do um, on my phone, but I was looking through my hollow and uh, my hollows and reverse hollow cards. Did I notice how many I had? Didn't even notice that before. Um, as you can see, I have like nine sets of them here. I thought Zoro worked. Zoroark, Zorowa, Glaceon, and uh, Rapidash should get on this. As you can see on here, I have um, Electrovira and Magmortar. Um, so, yeah, they're in order of what of how much I like the type. Um, Psychic isn't last, Psychic is meant to be there. But for some reason, I put it there. Anyway, as you can see, it's like um, yeah. There are some types in between that I haven't got a hollow of. If you can hear noise in the background, it's the radio. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I've only got like one electric hollow. It's um, a hollow Pachirisu. Yeah. Some hollow, some. Actually, I think that's a foil Pachirisu. Um, some hollows and foils you don't know are hollows or foils to actually tilt them. Yeah, there will be a glare on some of them because I have the curtains open and the light on. So yeah, I've got a hollow Pachirisu there. Pachirisu is one of my um, favorite electric types. Then so this is the po this is a Pokemon that had glare on it. Here yeah, is a hollow Meganium. Yeah, uh, so I have that as well. I have my fire types here, which consist of um, Ponyta. I've got a um, magma. And, uh, hang on. This Ponyta, I actually quite like because um, if you look at it closely, you can pick out all the individual um, types. And it's not a good card, so it knows is Stomp, which is twenty. You have to flip flip a coin. Feds it does thirty, so it's not too good. I can always evolve it into a better card. You see up there is electric. And I think that might be grass. I'm not too sure. It, no, it's just a spot. See, it got electric up there. So yeah, I've got a Ponyta. You have this Magma. And I also have this Ninetales, which I'm not sure if the magma and nine tails are fake or not because like um both kind of blended in there but yeah i've got those two also i have another nine tails this one my brother actually traded to me i was being real douche about it but i wanted to use my nine tails or something so i got him to trade me his nine tails i wanted to use my volpix so i got him to trade me um, his nine tails and my Volpix actually because he stole it off me claims he didn't but you know now I've got my water types I've got my Mario. Um my Piplup here which is a reverse hollow I believe it's not too good and I can't evolve it so I'm not going to be using it but um, yeah it's real but um, yeah got a reverse hollow here um, it's actually at the first reverse hollow, I believe. And I've got like two cloister here, which are exactly the same. I'm gonna get more shoulder before I can use it. Like, as you can see, it's reverse hollow. I've got two of them. So here's another one, exactly the same. Uh, now we're gonna go on to my psychic types. So here, I've got a hollow Gorgeist. I actually quite like Gorgeist. Um, I love its cry, its cry is awesome. So yeah, I've got a reverse hollow. I've got a hollow Gorgeist here. I'm not sure if this is a hollow or whether it's something different, but I know it's a hollow of some kind. So yeah, this slow king is actually quite good. Once it's power, power second slide, once during a turn before you attack, you may look 
at the top three cards of either player's deck and put them back on that put them back on top of the player's deck in that order. It's actually quite good. Obviously the power can't be used to slow King is affected by a special condition, but it's still a good poke power. Next I have a ghastly. Um yellow border gold lettering. Probably fake, but you know, it's a good ghastly. Um yeah, I think it's fake. One that? Anyway, I think this might be fake. I'm not too sure, but you know. Um, now I've got my unknown. You have this unknown here, unknown E, and you have this unknown here, which is just all unknown in general. Obviously, unknown are rubbish. Um. Yeah, it's Poke Power Return. This unknown's Poke Power Return isn't much better. Return once during a turn before, once during a turn when you put unknown from your hand onto the bench, you may return all energy cards attached to one of your Pokemon to your hand. I mean, why would you want to do that? You spent ages building up a Pokemon. Um, so why would you want to return all the energy there? Anyway, then you got my Fighting Pokemon. You have this Reverse Hollow Glade. And this reverse hollow Riolu. I actually have this Riolu in a normal version somewhere. Um, I have this reverse hollow duo blade, which is my only steel type Pokemon. Um, I've actually quite liked duo blade. I've never used one. Um, I like a shiny form. I've trained a duo blade for a hone edge. Um, then my brother released it before I could evolve it into a hone edge. So I lost that. Anyway, <coughs> as you can see here, um, as you can see, this Teddy Ursa up top here doesn't look like a hollow. Then, see? It's one of those Pokemon that you don't think is a hollow when you first look at it, but then you um, shine it in light and you see it kind of is a hollow. Definitely real. So I'm dropping everything now. Um, I have this um, Dragonair. I'm not sure if it's real because it's like my Magma Nine Tails. A bit um, blurred in the corner but yeah, pretty good. Wait, what am I saying? No it's not, it's rubbish. 4 for 20. Oh, you do get to discard an energy card but and then you got 3 for 30. Um, you could do six. Could wait what? Wow! Slam. Flip two coins. This attack does thirty times the number of heads. Actually, quite good. If you flip two, if you flip one, you do thirty. Um, if you flip two, that'll be thirty doubled. So that'll be sixty. Actually, pretty good now. Okay. And then you got this Jigglypuff here. It's not anything special, but I find it pretty cool. Then you have these two here. You've got my professor, le my professor's letter card, which is just yeah, yeah. The professor's letter is most likely like a love letter in the game, because your mum says it has a kind of scent to it, a floral scent. So it probably is a love letter. Then you've got a scramble switch. I'm not sure if all scramble switches are like this. But when I first got it, I thought this was kind of awesome. The fact that it just has those um, stripes on it. Um, it's basically like a modern... It's basically like a modern switch, but you can um, build up your active Pokemon, switch it, and then switch the energies to it. Of course, uh, it says here you can't have more than one ace spec in card in your deck. Luckily, Scramble Switch is the only ace spec card I have. So, yeah. Uh, I do have a non hollow version of this Riolu. Don't know if I've mentioned that before. Obviously, I can't use Riolu because I haven't got any Lucario, but yeah. And then I have like these guys here. I've got most of them. I've got most of my cards actually out of a folder. It's like that. This here is a 
folder for my cards. So yeah, I've actually got another one of them. Uh, I've got another one there, over like this. Yeah, as you can see, it's got like uh, Dialga, Cresselia, Palkia, Darkrai, the Free Starters, Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, and Pachirisu up there. <coughs> so yeah, um, I've been XX Awesome Gamer. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.